Well, hell, they certainly were excited today. The Razorbacks jumped out to an early lead in the first inning, and in the second inning, the bats really heated up. They stretched that lead to five to nothing, which it was history, so to speak. And that's exactly what Razorback fans we talked to wanted to see. Razorback baseball fans lined up early today in Stillwater, and everyone was looking for... We're looking for a win! In 2015, it started for us here in, in Stillwater, and we went to Omaha. So yeah, we want to be the Omaha oh, yes, this year. Do. I'm looking for them to play the way they can play. Which means? Which means they can win. And they, and they can. They can win. They know how. They're very good. Yeah. I just hope we hit. I hope we, I hope we play well, represent uh, hog baseball well, and and try to compete and move on to Super Regional. I'm looking for Connor Nolan to come out, throw strikes, be able to throw his off speed over for a strike as well, have good command over his pitches, and then the Razorbacks hit the ball. Good hitting the Razorbacks to get a win. We just need to beat them. <laughs> what are you looking for? I don't know. What do you want to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Who are you going for? Arkansas. What do you say for Arkansas? Woo pig silly. I just want to say, go hogs, go! Woo pig, let's go. Go hogs! Well, there's some excited fans for you guys back at home. Now the Oklahoma State and Missouri State game is about to get underway here in Stillwater, and the Razorbacks will face the winner of that game Saturday night at 6. Now tonight at 6, we'll hear from one hog fan who always brings his lucky glove to the game and it's nearly 60 years old. Live in Stillwater, Brett Rains, 4029 News.